Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I'm sitting in a 2015 Volkswagen Tiguan and I will show you the location of the OBD2 port and how to use it. This video should apply to first generation of these vehicles made from 2007 all the way up to 2018. Also if this video was helpful please consider supporting the channel by liking the video, subscribing to the channel or becoming a channel member. Okay, so first I will mention when you are scanning the vehicle, the vehicle cannot be running. So you want to insert the key into the ignition lock and turn it twice to the right. Just to get uh, all the lights on here on the instrument cluster, but do not start the vehicle. If uh, you have push button start, also it will not start the vehicle, it will not push the brake pedal, it will just press the start button. Uh, twice to get uh, these lights on but like I said do not start the vehicle. Now the OBD2 port is located under the steering wheel all the way down so you will have to get into a bit of awkward position just to get down here. It's gonna be right here and you will need OBD2 scanner to connect uh, to it. So I will show you now this as well so I will connect uh, my scanner. Okay, just like this and now the scanner should engage and I'll be able to access the modules. Okay, now I'll show you on my scanner how this looks. Um, I connected my scanner, now it's quite slow scanner so I skipped the first part. Now first it's gonna, as soon as I connected it, this auto detect uh, started. Uh, it recognized the vehicle V number. Uh, and the model of the vehicle and I'll now start the vehicle system detection. I'm gonna say okay Now it's reading all the systems communicating with the with the PCM with the vehicles computer and Now I will get all the information I want to get so it actually found one code in the uh, In the airbag and it found one code in the PCM as well uh, and there is no check engine lights or anything, so there is, that's probably some old stored code. Okay, now if I scroll down, you can see here engine electronics, one abnormal. Uh, P0562, system voltage low voltage. Okay, now I know what this about. This vehicle was actually uh, at uh, detailing recently, yesterday, and they completely drained the battery while cleaning the car. And when I came to pick it up, I had to boost it. And that, that's the stored code in the system. And let's see the airbag one. Uh, functional restriction of seat. Occupied recognition. Now I will have to research into this code. Now, top end scanners, as soon as they give you the codes, they will also offer the solutions, links to links to online websites, things like that. Mine cannot do that, so I have to manually uh, manually research and see what I can do. But what I can, I can reset these codes if I want to, right? But ideally, you want to fix the problem before resetting any of the codes. Okay, now if I scroll down, you can see here engine electronics, one abnormal. Uh, P0562, system voltage low voltage okay now i know what's this about this vehicle was actually uh, at uh, detailing recently yesterday and they completely drained the battery while cleaning the car and when i came to pick it up i had to boost it and that, that's the stored code in the system and let's see the airbag one uh, functional restriction of seat occupied recognition now I will have to research into this code. Now, top end scanners, as soon as they give you the codes, they will also offer the solutions, links to links to online websites, things like that. Mine cannot do that, so I have to manually uh, manually research and see what I can do. But what I can, I can reset these codes if I want to, right? But ideally, you want to fix the problem before resetting any of the codes. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was helpful and educational, if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel.
on my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.